How much more stuff needs to happen in this crazy world for everyone to realize that we are currently living in end times? And I am like the most anti fanatical type of person. Like, um, and I know people have been saying things like, oh, it's end times for like years and years, but this is a literal microchip that Elon Musk wants to put in your brain um, to cure anything that might be wrong with you. So he's claiming that it can help um, restore eyesight for the blind, hearing for the deaf. Um, he's talking about it restoring um, limb function and movement for people who have like are quadriplegics and things like that. Um, and he is also alluding to the fact that it can cure mental health disorders by increasing dopamine in different levels in the brain. And so um, essentially, like, I just think that Elon Musk wants to mind control us all at this point. I really do. Um, and of course, it's going to come under the guise of like good things, right? Because of course, it would have to be good for any sane person to let someone saw into your skull and implant a microchip. Um, so for anyone who thought that Christians were nuts or that the Bible is not truth, I encourage you to read Revelation. Um, and then let me know what you think, because this is this is the time to get right with your God. This is this is the time to get right with your God. This is this is the time to get right with your God. Get right with your God. Get right with your God. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakadash. No honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. And rule well, teach well, be a great example to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing and salutation to the whole flake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds. In the name of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole flake that believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience. Of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and what I want to get into this morning, okay, just then responding to this video, you know, that was put up, you know, by the brother, um, Yaqua, all right, the hopeful leg three. And, um, as you can see, all right, this little Edomite chick, you know, is going into a version of the C hip, you know, that has to deal, you know, with the brain interface, okay. And at the end of the day, the technology is here. And you have these jakes that are hell bent on, you know, not saying that it's not, you know, what John seen in Revelation 13 and 16 is, is the C hip, the MOTB. Okay. And also, they don't condemn this technology, man. You know, shouldn't you be condemning technology that the so called white man wants to put in you? You know? Shouldn't shouldn't there be should not people be warned about it? Even if you don't believe it's the MOTB, shouldn't you warn all right our people, okay, about what this devil is doing and his technology going inside you, man? Here it is. You tell Jake, you know, uh, uh, uh not to eat Subway and McDonald's, okay? But you won't tell them, you know, <laughs> you you won't tell them about this device. You won't warn them of this, the device of the devil, man. Okay, so well, I want to go. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. It says, um, Well, I started at 20, 28 first. Then I'll jump up to 27, you know, say what you to the other point. Now, this is Joel 20, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. It says, It shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Okay? Now, that being the Edomite, the Lord is using everyone, you know, whom he wills, that he can put his spirit on to speak a thing in the spirit. Now, she doesn't have the spirit to go prophesy or to understand the mysteries of the Bible. Okay? But the Lord will put the spirit on her to speak on spiritual things, you know, for a moment, man, all right, for the edification, and we, all right, Lord willing, the prophets, you know, Lord willing, we are those men, you know, but it's on us to go into these things and expound in the spirit, 
Okay? And this is what we're seeing happening, man. Brothers, wives having, you know, dreams. And, you know, a lot of people just, you know, um, having dreams and, 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 you know, talking about them. And they be spiritual, man. Okay? And that's the Lord, you know, showcasing what he's about to do in the earth, man. You know? So you go here. I'm going to jump up to 27. It says, and ye shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel because she says, time to get right with your power and see that's in the spirit because we have a power as Israelites. We have a power. Okay. And that's why we push repentance and return to our people, man. Okay. Returning to our power. Okay. When we say repent, all right, we mean you're turning back to the standard of our power, man. You know, repent from this wicked standard of the beast and turn back to the standard of our power. Okay? And as a nation, we have a power. It says, And you shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel, and that I'm the Lord, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Okay? I'm the Lord, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed, which is disappointing, man. And in this time, it's speaking of the elect, man. Okay? We're not going to be disappointed, all right, as we, the Lord put the spirit on us to repent and turn back to our power, okay? And the favor that's to come in the midst of chaos, okay, and the, and the glory and the reward that the Lord has coming, okay, we're not going to be disappointed in what the Lord is going to do for us, man, and him being our power, man, all right? And it was a promise made to Abraham, our forefather, okay? Let's see. This is um Genesis 17 and 6. And this is the Lord speaking to Abram before his name was changed to Abraham. Okay. This is Genesis 17 and 6. It says, And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations and of thee, and kings shall come out of thee, and I will establish my covenant between me and the, and thee. And thy seed, okay, singular, which you went to Isaac, and then from Isaac to Jacob, okay, and we're descendants, you know, of these men, okay, which means what well, we inherit, you know, this promise is being told to Abraham and said, after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant, okay, to be a power unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. I will confirm my covenant with you and your descendants after you. From generation to generation, this is an everlasting covenant. I will always be your power and the power of your descendants after you. Okay, and that falls upon us because the spirit bear witness, okay, with our spirit that we are descendants of Yahweh Bashim al That We are descendants of Abraham. Okay, and our power is Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Okay, and that's why the Lord will intervene on our behalf. Let's go to Exodus 6 and 5, and it says, And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Okay, and the Lord is remembering, all right, his promises. Again, he's remembering his agreement with Abraham in this time. And this is why we tell our people to return, man. Okay? Because once we repent and we know who we find out who we are, we find out who our power is, we find out what's required of us, man. We go into the, the, the mysteries of the scriptures and, you know, built up, you know, in the understanding of the word, you know, we begin to cry out because as a man increases in wisdom, well, he increases in sorrow. Okay? And this and this ruler, this current rulership is, is is vexing, man, and it causes us to cry out, to groan, man. Okay, and it says, "Whom the whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great." judgments okay so the lord eventually got active in ancient egypt 
you know, and he's going to do the same thing. And this time he's going to get active in present day Egypt, man, which is America, man, spiritual Egypt. Okay. Because he's our power. He's going to get active for his people and it says, and I will take you to me for a people and will be to you a power. Okay. And you shall know down the Lord, your power, which bring you from under the burden of the Egyptians. Okay, and we're finna see this again. Okay, that the Lord is our power. But it and, 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 and in this grace period, it's time to get back right with our power. It's time to mend that relationship with our power, man. Okay? Seeking our power in these times, man. You how about Shema Shah? Okay? Let's go from there. Let's get Isaiah on um, 40. Okay, and one. What it says it says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people said your power okay and this word is a comfort man because through all these things that's happening because the, the devil is all over the place man so-called white man esau edom is all over the place man all type of enchantments going forth all type of defilement of the food the, you know the defilement of the air you know all the, you know the, the technology the <clears throat> the uh, pestilence the you know the engineer families like this man is all over the place, man. Okay, but this word is a comfort in the midst of that because it tells us, you know, that we're good. We understand we got a power that's above, okay, this authority that's in the earth, man. You see? And it says, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, and that's through Yahweh Shai. And that's why he push Yahweh Shai. You know, to a lot of people know there's a forgiveness for our sins because as, as we learn what sin is, okay, there's a forgiveness for that, man. You know, we have this contrite spirit, you know, once we find out, you know, you like, damn, you feel, you know, they, what they call godly sorrow, man. You're like, damn, you know, I was tripping, you see, but then we teach there's a forgiveness through your house shot, okay, and through your house shot. You know, we found favor with our power again, man. That's why he making moves on our behalf. Even, you know, Esau bringing this, this wicked device to see him to pass. Okay, that's that's a part of prophecy before we're delivered, man. You know? And said that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she had received of the Lord's hand double for her sins. Okay? understanding you know as we teach our people why we're in this punishment man okay our power put us here and our power is going to deliver us man as you jump down to uh um, verse 9 it says oh zion that bring us good titans is isaiah 49 oh zion that bring us good titans get thee up into the high mountain O jerusalem that bring us good titans which is the good news the gospel lift up thy voice with strength lift it up be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your power. Okay? Behold your power. <laughs> you see that? So we're telling our people, look, behold your power. As we teach this Bible, we're teaching our people of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? Whom, whom we are descendants of. Okay? We're teaching them Yahweh Shai, all right, through whom is forgiveness and whom is going to be the deliverance. As we read verse 10 and we end it here, it said, Behold, the Lord will come with a strong hand, and that's Yahweh Shai, and his arm shall rule for him. Okay? Behold, behold, his reward is with him. You see that? We talking about immortality, man. Esau was trying to bring more death and control and oppression in the earth through technology. Yahweh Shai is bringing reward, immortality, man, true liberty and righteousness, man, abundance, okay? His reward is with him and his work before him, okay? His work before him, <laughs> you see? Which well, he's going to be getting busy on these devils, man, that's, that's bringing these wicked devices to pass, man. That's going to be the work. He finna go to war. He finna wage war and righteousness, man. You know, so yeah, it's time to get right with our power, okay, before that destruction come forth, man. Matter of fact, so I said that, let's, let's get let's get this, 
Zephaniah 2 and 1. It says, gather yourself together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. And who's that nation that's not desired, man? Jake. Okay? It's the tribes, man. I believe Elder Yasha Wumba, you know, he's getting ready to go into a, a lesson. I gotta watch it. But uh, as you can see, it said Democrats expand definition of white supremacy to include Mexicans, Indians, and blacks. Mexican, Indians, and blacks, man. <laughs> okay. The tribes, man. Okay, this is these are the people that's not desired. How the hell can you leak white supremacy to the people that white supremacists oppress? Okay, how the hell can you link white supremacy to the people that white supremacy attacks? Okay, because you know this whole system is set up in, in so called white supremacy, which is really either my supremacy. Okay. Well, it's more systematic now. You know, they'll blast a nigga every now and then. <laughs> okay, get their rocks off. You see? You see you, you, you see how, how this man is reaching? Okay, and that's why our scriptures say. Zephaniah 2 and 1 says, Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, okay? And the Lord is going to set forth the decree. See, Jacob trouble is is, is a command given by Yahweh Bashim al Shah, our power. Famine is going to be on the, on the, based on the decree of our power. World War Three is going to be based on the decree of our power, man. And he's going to bring it forth. Okay, Yahweh Shai coming back is going to be based on the command of Yahweh, of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay, so as we know these things, we return to our power before he gives that decree, man. <laughs> okay, we want to be in good favor with our power before he gives that decree, man. You know, so Lord will, I know you brothers, all right, and. You few sisters are edified to the next time I say shalom. Call me Yasha Allah. Abba, Abba, DTA soon. Shalom.